I am going to talk about a message today that says don't be intimidated by others' blessing. Don't be intimidated by others' blessing. Help me to touch the subscribe button and also help me to click follow button. Depend the particular platform you are watching me from now. God bless you. Don't be intimidated by others miracle others blessing don't be intimidated by others sources people that are around you their sources today don't allow their sources to bring intimidation to you and don't feel inferior because your neighbor by your side has succeeded and you you are still struggling don't forget that man is like a tree there are some people in the kingdom i ask question there are a lot of people you are imitating right now maybe they are like a corn why you are like a cuckoo yes and i understand you should not be intimidated by other people's success don't is there anyone that will not succeed in life no and also yes why no because god had destined that every man upon the earth succeed god blessed man and god made everything man lay hand upon to prosper and the lord said be blessed so the god commanded his blessing upon every of his child all his children god commanded his blessing to rest upon them so there is no man upon the earth that will not succeed and why I said also there are some people that would not succeed is because a lot of people have choose to be lazy. A lot of people have choose not to work on themselves. If I may tell you, I will tell you to work on yourself more than on the result you are looking for. Your life is more important to become valuable is more important than the result you are chasing after. The result you are chasing after is not the problem. The major problem is you yourself. You are the problem. So don't be intimidated by other people's progress, other people's sources. Don't be intimidated by other people's sources because definitely your own sources is on the way coming. If you can be diligent, if you can be punctual, if you can be diligent in whatsoever you are doing, I am believing God that the Lord will command supernatural sources to come on your way. So when your neighbor succeeds, congratulate your neighbor. Don't be angry with your neighbor's success. And don't allow your neighbor's success to intimidate you. Hear me. Don't be angry with your neighbor's success. And don't allow your neighbor's success to intimidate you. Congratulate your neighbor. What is causing envy? Envy comes when someone value others' blessing above his own blessing. That is where envy comes. Envy comes when someone appreciates what is happening to other people more than what is happening to him. That is where envy comes. But you will learn how to keep on moving. You will learn how to keep on moving. Don't be intimidated at all don't be intimidated because if you are intimidated you will quit if you are intimidated you will quit on the way look at in, uh, in the bible a woman called hannah when hannah married hannah had no child and the, her husband decided to get another wife and that one come immediately and have six children but i believe that hannah believed god and at the end god gave her God gave Anna best of the best. God gave her Samuel. That after Samuel, God also gave her other children. That is the testimony that will happen in your life. That testimony I said now about Hannah will happen in your life. There are some people you think that they are ahead of you today. But when God remembers you, you will overtake them. Because overtaking is allowed in this kingdom. There are people that you are seeing today, you think that you will never match 
match them. You will think that you will never reach to their uh, to where they are. You think that you will never match them in life. You think that you are inferior. You are nobody. Come on. When the time comes, you discover that you are mighty. You discover that you will do more than you think you can. Don't be intimidated. Learn how to receive courage. Learn how to receive courage from the Lord. From your inner man, receive that courage and be punctual and diligent in whatsoever you are doing. I know that the Lord we are trying destiny help us to you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you right now that whatsoever you are doing in life, receive destiny helper in Jesus' name. May God send destiny helpers to you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God send men and women that will lift up your hands in life in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. See you next time.